little Sir Duke for you. Stevie Wonder wrapping up the 7 a.m. hour. Before we get to my dilemma, which I did bring up at the very top of the show with Bernie, and Bernie's always great with this stuff. Great. I want to congratulate Joseph Baboud. His Boston Red Sox are playing much better baseball. I love sale today against the Orioles, but more importantly, so Joe texts me on Saturday, Bernie, I'm at the post office, and he goes, listen, I'm in Boston. I'm going to the Bruins game tonight. Yeah. But what time are you on with Zev Brenner? I want to try to find it on my phone. So the guy's about to go to a game seven <laughs> for his beloved hockey team, and he's thinking about me and Zev Brenner early on a Saturday morning. That is a friend. That's Abud. Uh. Yep. And then his Bruins went on to win the game. They're about to take on the Carolina Hurricanes yep. in the Eastern Conference Finals. And you're over the moon, aren't you? Uh, you know what? Going to a playoff hockey game, Bernie, I don't know the last time you were there. I mean, I've generally had a Red Sox or a baseball game. The hockey fans are crazy. It is. They it are is wild. Exciting. And yeah. playoff hockey is so fast and so much fun. So, yeah, I'm riding that wave because I'm struggling with my Red Sox. But uh, oh, they're why not? better. They're playing great. Yeah, they're playing. They're right they're, there. They're playing okay. Yeah. But um, you can't beat a year like they had last year. So. No. <laughs> I'm just having a fun time being a Boston fan. So. All right, good. No. You know? By the way, your uh, buddy Corey Zelnick just went into Joe Potashnik, the rabbi on the street, <laughs> just sent me that picture. <laughs> wow. He's everywhere, Rabbi Joe. Hey, so and he, these Celtics, by the way, are. Oh, they're done. They're, uh, I think, they're toast, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, they don't look very good. So. Kyrie doesn't want to play there anymore. I don't. He'll think be in so. Brooklyn with the Nets next year. And Danny H had a had a mild heart attack in, in, in Milwaukee. He's okay though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, they feel they're they're kind of out of kilter. So it's done. Uh, you know, yeah. it's okay. But a disappointing I'm, I'm a lucky season. guy. Listen, I you know I've had a lot of great championships. Oh so. yeah, you kidding lucky me? Guy. Red Sox have had four. Yeah. Um, Celtics, I think two. Garnett, yeah. Pearson, Allen, those yeah. teams. Yeah. Then yeah. you have the Bruins. Yeah. Tim Thomas won one. Yeah, and, and then um, the Patriots. Oh, please, the Patriots. So, yeah, so Pretty I good. have no complaints. All right, so here's a dilemma, Byrne. So you know that Eric Ulrich, our friend, called me last week, and he said, listen, we got this big GOP <laughs> gala dinner coming up yeah. on June 11th at Russo's on the Bay. Right. And, you know, I talked to Bill O'Reilly on the phone a couple of days. Mm -hmm. We He's want you to host names event. again. Yes, I'm the worst at that. No, the <laughs> best at that. Oh, yeah. So That's I said right, yes. Though. I said, I'm going to host the event. I'm, I'm honored, proud you asked me. I'm hosting the event. Which is good, right? It's not bad. Yeah, well, pretty great. You like that kind of thing? Yeah. Then I get an invitation here from Joseph Abood. Fans for the Cure. All-Star Celebration Dinner. Presenting the Fan for Life Awards to Dr. Jim McKiernan. No idea who he is, but he was a Columbia Presbyterian. Phil Sims, Pretty good friend of mine and ours. And Joseph Abood. Joseph Abood is about to get a Lifetime Achievement Fan for Life Award at this big dinner. Ed Randall from WFAN yeah. is the guy that kind of runs it. All, all supporting uh, prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. So Abood calls me yesterday. He goes, hey, listen, man. He goes, I want to ask you something. I'm like, sure, what's up? He goes, I want you to present me like you would do at the <laughs> Hall of Fame. I want you to present me with this award at my big dinner. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's the same night, obviously. Uh, same, same night. Same night. So same now night. I got to figure out a way between <laughs> us to get out of the GOP. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Oh, I thought you were going to ask me what should you do. Yes, I mean, because you're it, you it, are his rabbi. But wait, that's right. I feel like I'm like his Dr. Melfi. <laughs> yes, that's right. But I've already said yes to the other people. I yeah. know, but you have to get out of it. <laughs> How do I get out of it? <laughs> you, you, something came up. You had something. Uh, something uh, I didn't expect. Unexpected. Unexpected circumstances. Oh, I'm really God. sorry. Uh, you couldn't deliver on Bill O'Reilly, and uh, now you can't show up yourself. I can't Which, say it like you that. You can't turn no. Joseph Abood. You got to. You got to do it. I don't know. Do sorry, this, no. But no I said, you know, I'm trying to take him off the hook. But I don't know if I should take him. No, off the hook no. It's a no-brainer <laughs> at this point it, because it, you know what? You know, it's it's kind of like you owe me. Uh, you owe me a little, uh, but a no, little. But yes. No, uh, in uh, all seriousness, Listen. who would you rather spend time with? Athletes or politicians? That's what you have to ask yourself. Well, the former, and no you doubt. love that would, I mean, that would be athletes. Yeah. Well, I, I don't really like athletes either, but oh, I love you. You're do not an though, athlete, you you're do. a designer, you, but Look, you love Phil Sims. I do love Phil. Steve Garvey will be there. Uh, oh, Bobby Steve Valentine. Steve and will be I there. are good buddies. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Garvey's coming too. We're yeah, good buddies. Yeah. So it's too bad you're going to miss the uh, event. No, it's not. He's not, he's not going to miss the event <laughs> because he does owe you. All right. So he. All right. He's got a walk-in closet full of Joseph Abu. Uh, 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 I'm clothes, there every day. I'm in his life yes. every single Believe day. Me, I know. Danielle was upset, too. Here's how we can fix it. But it requires you to help me out, Bernie. Oh, no, you no, don't. No, 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 calm down. You don't even know what I'm asking yet. But I think you do. 
by your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. The GOP loves the Bernie and Sid show. They do. Bernie is you. I'm Sid. I can't make it because my dad's back in the hospital. Um, but you're free that night. They'll be just as happy if Bernie McGurk host the GOP gala, you know, then I get to go and present Joe Abood with the award. I, 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 what, what's the date again? June 11th. That's the date that Bo Deedle's getting a special award somewhere <laughs> in Manhattan. <laughs> and he has asked me to attend that. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got to so, have a clue. So we have, this is a big night I, I, in New York. Why and June 11th? The, the, the one night. Of the two, one night. I and know. I thought, you know what I thought, Bern? I said, ah. He's got nothing else to do. This is a perfect night for me. He loves <laughs> right. sports. And the first thing he says to me, can't do it. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. It, it, no can't way. Can't do it. No, and first, I, Joe Butters, first, first he goes, listen, I'm going to get you a new suit, too. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I, my God, new suit. I got to go to your event. The new suit. Right, the you, new you gotta, suit. You got to look what no, 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 right? Let me, let me say that. Another new suit. <laughs> uh, that's right. Another new suit. Well, this right. is this Glutton is... Glutton for punishment. Absolutely. Uh, but, but but in all seriousness, it's a great event. It's great to support it's annual, prostate right? cancer. It's an annual event? Yeah. And, yeah. Ed, and Ed's Ed done a great job. Ed Ed always really. always throws it. It's his... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's always got... You know, he's very connected with Major League Baseball. Oh, yeah. Well, he has that show. Remember, Bernie, talking baseball yeah. Sunday yes. mornings yeah. on FAN? He's that's on right. satellite radio as I know. well. So, you know, he's a great baseball guy. And you know what? Give him incredible credit for really kind of championing the cause of prostate cancer. I think one in every seven men are going to be afflicted with it in yeah. their lifetime. So it's a great dinner. It's on the 11th. I think there are still seats available. Aye, aye, aye. So even if Sid can't come, I don't know. it's going to be star-studded. No, he, he, he can come, and, he, and I'm telling you right now, he will be there. Jill, <laughs> Jill, what do I do here, Jill? You gotta Jill, do help us thing. out. What do I do? You got to do a boot. How? How do I do it? How Just do I tell do? Ulrich so something came Stuff up. Stuff happened. You, you, you know, you, you converted to uh, you're now a Democrat. Well, we don't want Bill O'Reilly to be upset either. He's not coming. He's not coming. Oh, well, in that case, yeah. you're coming to my event. <laughs> he, he would have gone if it was just a dinner, but it's a fundraising event. He oh, can't I come. see. But what if somebody heard this? That's what? possible. Like Michael Henry, who's a big GOP guy who tweets. It doesn't matter. You just act like they didn't. Oh, okay. And you oh, just my God. Make, make the changes. So this is to be continued, I assume. No, no it's not. Is. No, it's not. So it'll be the June 11th at the Joseph Abu. Well, I don't want to fit him to a new suit if he's not coming. <laughs> Let's just get this no. straight. And, you want, and, and then I've got to do the tie and the pocket square and the whole and, thing. And, and, and you want Bill and the tailors are going to have to go crazy. You want some of the other and then he wears it to the GOP event. <laughs> Screw that. You want, I'm screwed here. You want some of the other material back, too. <laughs> yeah, I may God. take a suit back. That's right. If I get a new one, we'll take one back. Anyway, it's a great event. Um, whether you're there or not, and I hope you will be, uh, it's just a great event for prostate cancer. Fans for the number four, the cure.org. Slash All Star fans for the Cure dot org again. Joe Abud, Bill Sims, Doctor James McKiernan, and it's a where's this event? I uh, hit there in Manhattan. Let's see where it is. Here. Oh, the Edison Ballroom. Yeah, which, which is, is a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, on West Forty Seventh Street. Just walking distance. Cocktail attire. Yeah. What does that mean? That means a beautiful suit designed by Joseph Abud. <laughs> Is what it means. So, and we'll or get, a beautiful jacket. We will provide you with directions. <laughs> that don't, don't that worry you about don't it. have to worry about. Yeah. It's all the other stuff. Well, I'm excited about it. But anyway, I do think that uh, Ed has done an amazing job. Congratulations yeah, to you. Thank you, man. Well, yes. right. I'll uh, see you Congratulate night. Phil Sims, who is <laughs> one of the best friends. No, we love Phil. In fact, we'll get Phil on before. And maybe we'll ask Phil, too, about what I should do. Oh, yeah. Well, he would, he's a great voice of reason. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, there's no doubt. Yeah, with we'll the, see what he says. Don't listen to me. I'm just a designer. He's like an MVP, <laughs> all-star quarterback, Super Bowl oh, champ. You know, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, well, it's an exciting hey, time. So thank you, Joe. It's wonderful is. that you have these kinds of options, right? Or these yeah. dilemmas. That's but I think this should keep you going for a week because, or a week, maybe two weeks here, buddy, because <laughs> it's not till the 11th. That's right. No, we got... Uh, Go see Joseph. to talk about. Go see Joseph's store, by the way, on the corner of 49th and Madison. In fact, I'll be there later on today. <laughs> 49th and Madison, the Joseph Abood Black Label flagship store. It's a gorgeous store. We love you. You're a great guest. Love you guys. We do. Good luck to your Bruins, your Red Sox. We'll take a short break. Still lots more to do. Dale Berra and Jay Beaver, both live in studio. We're coming right back. Say the way you hurt me.